Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got something really cool for you in here today. In this vintage red box. The lid's supposed to come off, don't worry. But in this vintage red box is the Hickok. 6000A dynamic mutual conductance tube tester. This is some classic test gear from the 50s and 60s. And today we're going to have a play with it. First of all, though, I have to thank Richard from California who sent this to us. Richard, this is an incredible, incredible gift. And I am so thankful so thank you so much this is a very cool up here you can see all of our different tube sockets it's even got a little cathode clip for the tubes that have that sticking out the top and if you look over here it will also test transistors and diodes so let me get this set up here and we'll have a little play with it so I've got us a tube, and I don't know how well you can read that, but that says 12AX7. Now, according to the instruction manual, the first thing that we have to do is to find our tube on the roll tube selector. So if you look down here, we have 12AX7, which is what we've got. We need to set our filament voltage to 12.6 volts. So, let's zoom out. Oh, I am zoomed out. Wait, what do you know about that? Okay, so filament, 12.6 volts. Next up, we need to select our, our, our filament lines to E and V. So, E and V. And then we select our grid, plate, screen, and cathode to 7608. 760 and 8. Right? Yep. And our suppression is at 0. Now we can plug the tube in. That wasn't good. Oh my. So my pins are a little bent. Try this again. There we go. Now I want to wipe that thing off first. Hang on a second. Yeah, I don't want the grease from my fingers. getting on there okay so now we can plug it in and right here is our power so we need to turn this up until our line test here is right on. So that puts us at right about 120 volts. So we're good. Now I'm gonna turn off these bright overhead lights here. Our tube is heating. I turned off the light here so that we can see as well. says we need to wait 30 to 45 seconds for the tube to fully heat up. I don't know how well you guys can see in there, but the tube is lit and we are good to go. So our first test is to see if any elements of the tube are shorted out. And we do that by looking, whoops, here. I just pointed at the screen like you could actually see. 
by looking here at these five things. Let me see if I can bring some light in here. There you can see what they are marked. And nothing is shorted out. So that's good. Step one is good to go. Our next test is the quality test. It tells us to make sure everything is set correctly, which I have. And then we are going to pr press the test button. And this meter up here will show us if our tube is good or not. Look at that. That's a bad tube. And I kind of knew it was not great because that tube was one that I had sent off to, what was in the amp I had sent off for work, and it was deemed not good. Okay, other tests that we can perform include our grid current by pressing test and gas together and our filament continuity, which is good. So let's get another tube and check it out as well. Got another 12 AX7 on there. And we're going to test it as well here. So first of all, we need to look at shorts. There are no shorts. Everything is good. And we'll come up here. This thing doesn't want to sit right today. And we'll test. What are we testing first? Just a regular test. That was good. Then we can test our filament continuity. Also good. So this is a good tube. Which I kind of figured it was. That's cool. Alright, let's move on to a different type of tube. So this one is a 6 V6 GT. Let's see if we can find it on the roll chart here. Lots of six volt tubes out there. Six V six. So our filament voltage is uh, six point three. Let me uh, get you a better photo of what we're going. Six point three on the filament voltage. H and S on our filament selectors. Five three four zero five three four zero and eight on the suppressor. Okay. So, where did this guy go? In here? Nope. In here? Yep. Wipe off any hand grease. And power it up. We'll give her a few seconds to come to life here. But we can always start by checking out our um, shorts. Oh yeah, check that out. This tube's got shorts in it. She's no bueno. Kind of knew that. I mean, I didn't know it had shorts, but I knew it was bad. So that's all we got to do to test that tube out. All right.
let's do a transistor test. I've got a 2N2222, which is, of course, an NPN transistor. And uh, this is collector base emitter. So I have to put this guy in like this. This is a little more difficult than I thought, getting her in there. Oh, I think I'm in there. Kind of hard to tell. So, we set our function selector for H. We turn on power. Wow. Okay, adjust sh shunt control until the needle in reads 100% on the lower scale. Yeah, it's a uh, it's reading 100% on the lower scale, all right. Okay, there we go. Get her up there to 100% right on it. Yep. We are right on it. Push the slide switch, mark leakage gain to the leakage position. If the needle is in the good area, the transistor is good. So we do that. Yep, that's a good transistor. There is no leakage there at all. Very nice. Now we can also test diodes. So let's grab a diode and have a test of that as well. Okay, so we got a silicon diode here. Now the diode instructions are not as clear as some of the other things. So it says diode test. Diodes are checked by the same procedure as testing rectifiers because they rectify but do not handle large currents like power rectifiers. All right. So... The red and black jacks located near the transistor test sockets are used to check the forward and reverse condition. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, connect the positive lead. Adjust power line adjust until the meter is directly. I'm not getting anything at all there. Directly line test. Shunt control to 100. Function switch to H. Needle on meter will drop to zero. Adjust the shunt control. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Like I said, the instructions aren't so clear, and I'm not so familiar with this that I know exactly what I'm doing, and I don't want to blow anything up here. So that's going to be it for testing that. All right. I want to thank Richard again for sending this. This is incredible. I mean, this is classic test gear, and... They don't make stuff like this anymore. I know that's a huge cliche, but it's the truth. They don't make stuff like this anymore. I am so thankful to have this, and I'm so thankful to have you guys as my friends and channel viewers. God bless you all. Feel free to like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace, my friends.